Mitch, your civilian liaison and host. Today's operation is a reconnaissance patrol. Our mission is to gather intelligence on Compact 23 sailboats currently on the market. We will capture detailed photographs and withdraw undetected as we slip below the waves. The vital data and imagery we gather today will be relayed to our viewers for potential pocket cruiser procurement. Okay, let's take this old girl down to 26 fathoms. Prepare to dive. Pilot, submerge the ship. Make your depth 155 feet. Submerge the ship, make my depth 155 feet. Pilot, I. All right, still has some life in her. Steady her down and uh, keep an eye on those gauges. The creaking sound and the drips are completely normal. That's just the hull getting settled into the pressure of a 14-story building of water being set on top of her. I've never heard that before. Sonar Con, report any contacts you find. Con, sonar, new contact bearing 295, range 8 miles. Good work, stand by. It looks like we have our first contact, uh, 13 clicks out and 25 degrees aft of our port beam. Make course correction and bring us to periscope depth. Nine fathoms, please. Now let's see what we got here. Oh, now, now this is brilliant. This is unbelievable. We have seven compacts off the Atlantic Ocean, the Gulf of Mexico, even Lake Carlisle. Where are we going anyway? Briefing. Who's giving the briefing? You are. Look, just give him a rundown on this. He's liable to ask some direct questions. Give him direct answers. Tell him what you think. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, our latest voyage has seen some extraordinary pocket cruisers. For sale is this ship, the Compact 23. We believe called the Compact in reference to it being a compact version of a big ship. The CP-23 is a larger variant of the Hutchins Yachts inaugural sailboat, the Compact 16, designed by Clark Mills and built by Les Hutchins. Do we have their pictures available? The Compact 23 is some 20.17 feet long at the waterline with a 7.83 foot beam, 2,900 pounds of displacement. We believe this solid cross-directional hand-laid fiberglass hull to encapsulate a two and a quarter foot draft, low drag, high lift solid keel. It was developed from NACA wing section. That's the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics. Our conclusion is that this masterfully uncomplicated sailing vessel is capable of operating silent and virtually maintenance free for years, if not decades. Its solid hull joined to an innovative synthetic core deck could render the Compact 23 practically rock free. Now, Mr. Mitch, would you characterize this as the best pocket cruiser ever made? That is a possibility, sir. Currently, our satellites are tracking seven CP23s for sale, ranging in price and readiness. Can I have the first slide, please? First to sale is the SV Brilliant. This 2006 Compact 23 Mark III is currently located in Riverside, New Jersey, and it's sitting on a factory-supplied trailer. The deck appears to be in excellent condition and in fine order, and squared away with lines led aft. Down below we find a beautiful cabin with no signs of fresh water damage, and it has the original cushions. Here we see the hideaway galley in the deployed forward position and the 12 volt control panel. With the hatch open and absent a dodger, I wonder how dry this spot is in rough conditions. The Teak and Holly Soul is in new light condition, and this boat is powered by a late model 9.9 .9 horsepower Yamaha. The price tag of $18,900 underscores that this is a fine ship through and through. For further intel, contact Yacht World. Navigator, chart a course towards Newport, Rhode Island, Narragansett Bay. All ahead, two thirds. Make your depth 200 feet. 200 feet, I. Make your depth 200 feet. 200 feet, I, sir. Five degree down, Bob. Five degrees down. Open that. Next, we'll be steaming 287 nautical miles north to Centerville, Massachusetts to surveil our next sailboat of interest. This 1997 Mark III has been in theater and has the battle scar on her bow to prove it. The current owner's briefing notes state that the bow damage occurred under the previous command. She's a battleship, not a showboat. Her hull's rugged. 
It tells a tale of steadfast journeys and weathered storms. Logistical reports show she cleans up well with a good polishing. This 23 came equipped with six bronze port lights. It's been modernized with a kick-up foil rudder to enable enhanced upwind performance. Take note of how the skipper has deployed this clever space-saving apparatus. It's a rollout platform to achieve a level cockpit surface for downtime. Even an unorthodox onboard tent for temporary additional crew quarters for those full complement operations. This SV's auxiliary power is supplied by the latest issue to Hatsu 6 horsepower outboard motor. In this photo, we can assess that this boat is being sailed under mainsail alone and that the lines are led aft to this double clutch on the cabin top. The skipper appears to be in our protection program. This 1997 CP23 is offered at 7,500 US. Current position is Centerville, Mass. Direct communications to sailboatlistings.com. Our next port of call is Boquilia, Florida. Put our eyes on this 1986 Compact 23. It can easily be identified as a Mark II by the round bronze port lights in conjunction with the bowsprit. This sharp looking sloop is uncommonly outfitted with wheel steering. It has a roller furling head sail and lazy jacks to handle the two year old mainsail. The interior appears to be clean and all original. I'd describe it as well worn but well kept. Included is a trailer, and it's set up to enable bottom paint to be applied. This 23-footer is driven with its battle-hardened 7-year-old 8-horsepower Honda outboard with 250 hours of runtime. The motor is outfitted with electric start remote throttle control as well as an electric auto-tilt motor bracket. This 1986 is in great shape with big upgrades. The asking price is $10,000 US dollars. It has been listed by by a private seller and you can find it on Sailing Texas. Okay, our fourth waypoint is a potential option in St. Petersburg, Florida. Our focus shifts to a sailing vessel named Dominique. This 23 is a 2017 Mark IV. It's the latest version of the Compact 23. This edition gives you all stainless steel hardware, ports, and mooring cleats. It has a rigid PVC rub rail with a stainless steel striker plate. A foil rudder with a blade control handle comes standard on the fourth version. The only interior modifications are to allow easier installation of electronics. We are admittedly lacking in preliminary intel and have almost solely relied on visual assessment. What we can ascertain is that it appears to be stationed on a trailer. It has an attached outboard motor. The current evaluation indicates it's either a 6 or 8 horsepower. Our findings show the furling headsail covers color matches the mainsail and companionway hatch covers, as well as the bimini, either black or dark navy blue. Precise color of these sun covers is indeterminate from available photos. You can grab the helm of this boat for $35,200. SmartMarine.com our next intended position, number five, is my home port of Seabrook, Texas. In this harbor, we encounter a compact 23 of unparalleled power. Pop the cover and you'll find a Yanmar 2 YM15 diesel with only 50 hours on it. It produces 14 horsepower and it keeps the weight low and centered and the propeller down deep. Ladies and gentlemen, as I'm sure you're aware, I'm very fond of this boat but I do feel the need to voice my concern about this cabin's 40-year-old design being constrictive and confining and in dire need of an update. This 2020 Mark IV is barely broken in, and it can be yours for only $51,900. Contact Sager Yachts. Number six is our first inland destination, Garland, Texas. We'll make our way out of Clear Lake and through Galveston Bay and then up the Trinity River. And by submarine presents many navigational challenges, but well worth it to find this 1984 Compact 23 Mark II. This vessel is powered by its emissions-free mainsail and hank-on jib and asymmetric spinnaker, all of which are not new but in good condition. Self-described as clean and plain, this 23 may be the unaltered 
Standard Factory Fresh Pocket Cruiser you've been scouting for. No rain or lake water leaks, and it still has the original cabin cushions. The hideaway galley was not in use and the components have been removed from service to save space, but can be easily reinstalled. The last bottom job was done in 2015. Compacts have a good reputation for blister-free hulls, so not a problem. The top side is clean, only a few gel coat dings. It's never been painted and the hull is clean. And all the top side teak has been purchased and partially installed. A custom made Hutchins Bimini is included. Do you see what I see? A main sheet traveler and in the perfect location, easily accessible from the cabin. This boat also comes with the usual accoutrement of sailing gear. There's no mention of a trailer. She's in the water and ready to sail. A sea trial is offered, weather permitting. This 1984 Mark II is named Grace and can be yours for only $3,500. You can view this boat at SailingTexas.com. I want to thank you for holding fast and please subscribe as we surface in Lake Carlisle, Illinois. I present to you the final Compact 23 on this patrol. A 1988. This child of the 80s comes along with the trailer, equipped with new tires in 2022, and ready to haul. She's powered by a 36-year-old Suzuki outboard motor. This original piece of machinery has seen some waves, but it has some more miles in it. She has a simple wardrobe, just a jib and a mainsail, which was purchased in 2021 along with a new foil rudder. The bottom paint was done in April of the following year. The cabin is bone dry, no water damage found. This boat has a great deck color. It's easy on the eyes, especially on a bright day. So for a mere $7,000, you can sail away in this boat. She's waiting for her next captain on the St. Louis Craigslist. I hope you enjoyed this tour and rest assured there's more to come. So until next time, hold your course and and I'll see you out there on the horizon. One ping only, please.